Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to my bin. I've been walking around with this today, picking up some litter. Uh, I haven't actually, that's not my bin. I don't know why I said that. Today, I'm gonna to be taking some photographs around the streets, doing some gritty street photography. <laughs> mostly looking for parallels, lines, and anything interesting, compact, uh, that pretty much, not wouldn't say abstract, but I'd say more kind of backstreet art, if you like. That's what I'm trying to go for, black and white film. Inside this, I've got a roll of HP5. This is a chin on CE5 camera. I've got a yellow filter on there. I've got a roll of HP5. It's expired 2013, uh, but it's not the best expired bunch I've ever tried. The last few rolls, the film base has been quite dense, quite, quite heavy. In other words, you can't, it's not as transparent as normal fresh HP5, but I've got a feeling that this stuff was stored badly in the past, so it's kind of eroded a little bit or gone off. Uh, but it is what it is, it's still filming, I can still take pictures with it, and you know, once I get the light shining through it, I can still get a reasonably good print or a scan. So um, I'm going to be looking for contrasty uh, images, I'm not going to push the film, instead I'm going to use that in the development side of things. I'm going to develop in Rodnoll at one part to 25, so not very well diluted uh, for rod now one part to 25 and for six minutes and then i'm going to invert every 30 seconds for five inversions every 30 seconds so uh, pretty much a lot of inversions a lot of agitation to try and build up some contrast and some grain as well get some gritty looking images um, out, of, out of this camera out of the film <laughs> So this is an old theatre that's um, it's not open, it hasn't been open for a long time by the looks of it, it looks pretty derelict, I've been in here once years ago. Um, but when you come to a place like this and you just, for photographs, and you just mill around, take your time, people look at you and they think, what's he doing? You know, when you've got a small little tiny camera, you just spend a little bit of time around looking at the architecture, looking at some of the, uh, the deterioration, the flakiness of the doors, the cracked pipes, the signs that are completely just eroded, you know. Take your time to look around and you can see photographs all over the place. I could sit here for easily for an hour just at this front, just studying it, waiting to take a few photographs that I think would look good on paper behind glass in a frame, in my home, in a restaurant, in a hotel, anywhere but mate i don't know what your problem is but you keep staring at me your wife's looking that way you're looking this way what's your problem <laughs> but sometimes the real magic is when we go around the back of these buildings where no one really goes uh, because it's out of the way it's not an eyesore because no one goes there let's go around the back and have a look shame all these cars are here parked down here uh, I reckon this would make a nice photograph but of course with the cars in the way it just looks naff modern cars have just got no character in them just be a boring picture so taking a, a wide of all this old ironworks these stairs this uh, fire escape it's gonna be no good so I'm gonna mill around up here and see what I can get so some different angles lines that's if it don't collapse There's a nice building too. So let's get back out into Normalsville. Uh, we'll go in the street, there's a telephone box over there I want to take a couple of pictures of. And then I'm going to uh, take some photographs of some funky looking benches outside a bank.
see it as there's different types of street photography. Whenever you say to someone what sort of photographer are you, and they go, I'm a street photographer, instantly you think that they're out taking photographs of people. Um, but that's not always the case. You don't have to be a people chaser to do street photography or street art. You can just walk around the streets taking any photographs or anything you like. And that's the great thing about photography. It's so diverse what other people like, some people don't like. You know, it's just so diverse and beautiful in a way, really, that you can just go and do your own thing and enjoy what you're doing. So I'm not going to be taking pictures of people. That's not my kind of street photography. I'm more looking at back streets and seeing what I can get out of them and also enjoy myself at the same time. <laughs> so I didn't see you there, mate. I, I, had me, I had my glasses on, I couldn't see over here. <laughs> hey, mate, do you mind if I take your photograph? Yeah, just look into that camera there. Cheers. <laughs> So as always, I came in the dark room and I decided to make a few prints. I looked at three of the negatives that I liked. I wouldn't say they were the negatives that I most liked, but I just liked them. I liked all of them, to be honest with you. I could have sat there all, all day long and printing the whole lot, but um, I got the negs in time. I can. I'll just show you, quickly show you guys the images. That was the telephone box that I did manage to get the street sign in, as well as a telephone box kind of coming in at this diagonal sort of uh, feel. Uh, quite like that shot as well. Nostalgic phone boxes, they're not going to be around forever, so I'm glad I've got a few of these on my on my negative lists. And then the stairs as well, near the bank. Um, I did a photograph of the stairs, and that's the print of it. Nice and punchy, nice and contrasty. Plenty of grain in there as well, so a gritty looking street picture. This is still drying. Uh, I need to put these back up in a second uh, to fully dry. And then the last one was the um, the stairs of the bank and the wall. I just liked the way the wall was, all that sort of pebbly, stony looking, and the rail coming down, and the stairs as well. You saw me on the enlarge. I just needed to cover this area slightly as I went down um, to stop this getting too burned out. But um, it worked out really well. These are going to go on my Etsy page, guys, if you want to support the channel and uh, purchase a print from the SFAB channel. These are going on the Etsy page. I'll put a link in the description to this video. I'll get these dry. And you can see these are the test strips behind me. I didn't waste hardly any paper making any test strips. Pretty simple negatives, simple photography, simple printing in the darkroom. I did make a few errors uh, when I was trying to make some prints, mainly crap on the negs, but I got that off and made good with reprints. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. As for street photography, is whatever you want it to be. Whether you like to have people in your photographs or not, whether you like to have rabbits, <laughs> cats, dogs, whatever. Uh, I enjoy going around back alleys and taking photographs of gritty and grainy stuff. That's what I've got in this video. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to support the channel if you want to purchase those prints. They'll be on Etsy. I'll catch you next time.